Dollar Hank, hello, fun, and welcome to another potential one off Fallout 4 video where today we're going to be playing the Whitman Family Fallout Shelter. And I'm pretty excited to have a look at this one as it seems to have from the description a lot of good story. Though, this was not my intended quest and adventure mod today. I was going to start up A Tale of Two Twins as it's a longer quest and adventure mod that looks pretty neat. And it ties in with another mod we played a while back of Outlaws of the Commonwealth. But here's the thing. I completely missed the fact, which should have been obvious from the mod page, that it also involves this mod. Apparently the two main characters in Tale of Two Twins are going to be survivors, I guess, from the Whitman Family Fallout Shelter. So I figured we should play this one first to get that story so we're not entirely lost. So, uh, yeah, we're over here near Quincy in between the police station and the Peabody house where we need to go and find a miscellaneous quest of find the entrance to the Whitman Family Fallout Shelter. So let's head on into this house and see what we do have. I'm intrigued, I'm looking forward to this. I like, uh, we'll go down there in a moment once I look around for any other stuff outside. I always do like when mods have like a series of stories about themselves all linking together. That's pretty cool. So yeah, I can't wait to see how this one ties into the next mod. But yeah, let's head in. I was hoping maybe there might be a note or something out there in the house, but nope, just straight on into the shelter. And investigate! It didn't give us a name though, so is it still just a miscellaneous quest? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Cool. Also, what? It's a helmet and a teddy bear. Hmm. I'm gonna. I wanna see if they're like specially named or something. Oh yeah, that's not gonna move those, is it? Alright, let's just use a physical bullet. Go! Yeah, I'm intrigued to see if they have, like, a Approach unique name or if they are just a generic helmet. Yep, yourself. generic helmet and generic teddy bear. -abiding citizens Who put them up there? Stand. Also, yeah, there's Protectrons in here, apparently. Cool. All Who put clear. them up there, though? I need to know this. <laughs> All right, what do we got? We got a door here and hallway there. Door is expert lock security gate. Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's open it up. See what we got over here. Nope. Nope, other way. Oh, broke one broke one of my billion bobby pins. What a shame. Hey, there we go. That's it. Alright. Door Area. and Security oh. for hostiles. False Poor guy. Alarm. Okay. Oh. Identify oh. yourself. Wait. Nation. Also, Ricky. Raiders are worse than skeeters this time of year. R Ricky? There's a Ricky? Huh. All right, so we got Protectrons and a Ricky. Also, uh, I guess this is the point we're supposed to investigate? My last words. Hmm. Hmm. You know, we're going to come back here because I have a feeling... Wait, oh, that door is barred. Detected. Oh, wait, oh. Beginning search. Hmm. Considering the names of that stuff, I figured maybe that would be, like, this was the end of the area and we had to, like, come around to here. So, I'm, you know what, I'm actually going to go down this hallway over here and see. Let's let's see if I should have gone this way first. If that's the case, that one door oh, really should have been, like, right. locked with a key we have to find or something. Any other Protectrons? Oh, this oh god, three up there. Alright, so we got one down. Hi, you! There we go. And we got you. And, and one. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. All right, so, ooh, hey, a note. Helpless. All right, all right, so yeah, there is some story scattered around this place. I'm gonna look down here real quick, see if there's more, or if we do go back upstairs. Okay, so that is a door we can't go through. Ah, that terminal, that, okay, that might open up that security door. Okay, all right, all right, let's go upstairs. Okay, so the more story's gonna be down there. Yeah, I was just worried maybe I had skip that and that probably shouldn't have been an unlock door but hey no we're good we're good we're good okay helpless let's read this i hate this i hate all of this i've never felt more powerless and helpless in my entire life michael left me out here to die like the coward he is i was in the shower when walt called him to get us to go to the shelter 
He just left me here. By the time I made it down, it was too late. The vault door had already been sealed shut. Throughout my 52 years of marriage with him, I've always known one thing. He is a spineless fucking coward. And with this, I now know for sure. Well, Weasley Greer was locked out of the shelter as well. He says the security door at the control room to the control room jammed before he could enter the shelter. I'm too weak to lift the bars on the door. Oh, the bar door to let him out. So he'll surely die from dehydration if the radiation doesn't get him first. And finally, the worst part is the giant pantry full of food and water behind the locked door. I can't find a key for it anywhere. I guess I'll starve too. I can't put into words the contempt I have for Michael for leaving me out here to die. I don't know how I'm going to manage. Janet Jackman. Oh, man. All right. Some real dicks in this family, apparently. Apparently locking people out of their vault. Cool. Another teddy bear. All right. So she was too weak to lift the barred door. So that explains why that guy, I guess, was dead in there. Oh. I don't know. The end. Oh, also... Ah! The locked door full of uh, food and water, she mentioned. Well, let's go in here first, then we'll read that note. Got it! Sweet. Whoop. Oh, man, look at all this! Man, if you are on a survival save file, this is the mod to download. Holy crap, look at all this water. Also, really? She couldn't have put her arm through there to grab some water at the very least? <laughs> all right, I, I, I'm assuming this is dead Janet here the end. I heard a loud bang that came from the room. Wesley's stuck in. Oh, yeah, he shot himself. Yeah, the gun next to him there. Hmm. I can only assume the worst at this point. His Geiger counter has been going off non-stop for the past few minutes, which can't be good. I'm starting to get a headache and a fever, which leads me to believe the worst is coming. No matter what happens, I still have my vodka right here with me, so I can face my doom with some elegance and drunken confidence. Janet Jackman. Oh, Janet, you poor thing. I'll leave you with your vodka. Normally, I'd loot that, but that seems wrong in this case. All right, latch bars. Okay, and that comes into here where he's dead, killed himself. We got last his last words. Looks like things are wrapping up for me. The bunker doors have been sealed and are not set to be unlocked for another 200 years. Security door jammed, and I was not able to enter the bunker before it closed. Looks like poor old Janet was locked outside as well. She tried reassuring me through the door that things will be okay. But I know she's full of it. Radiation levels have been steady, steadily increasing for the past few hours. I refuse to die of radiation poisoning. I've seen the kind of things it can do back in Anchorage. Oh, dude, was it the Battle of Anchorage? Oh, cool. I'd rather finish the job myself than die like that. I pray for the lives of my beautiful wife, Sarah. And for the lives of my children, Dustin, Billy, and Colby. For they will grow up without a father. I also pray for Janet and hope she passes peacefully. Wesley Greer. Alright. And I'm assuming Terminal opens up the door downstairs. Yep. Okay, alright. So the door, the security door that was locked, that I picked the lock on, was jammed. So he couldn't get out. And he couldn't make it out the other way. Janet was too weak to open this for them to help one another. Huh, that's unfortunate. But at least I can now get into the actual proper shelter. I figured this might be all of it, but no, we got more down here. And also, what was that... God, what was the name of the person that we saw the, a moment ago when we were fighting the Protectrons? Who was that? Was it Barry? I don't remember the name now, but all right, let's open this. Oh God, we gotta wait for this thing to open, don't we? Okay, I'm excited and looking forward to what we're gonna find in here. I'm already liking the story. It's so wonderfully tragic and sad. I like dark things, what can I say? <laughs> All right, security gate and investigate the shelter even more. All right, cool, so just investigate the investigation. Lovely, lovely. And down we go. Really, wood? With everything else we've seen is cinder blocks, that wood seems kind of out of place to me, but all right. Okay, it seems really out of place. Again, you had so many cinder blocks and concrete. Why why go with the weird rundown wood look? Hmm, weird. All right, well, we're in. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? Some moldy food on the table, some purified water. 
got a door here. Ooh, stuff to loot. A computer. Lovely. Another teddy bear. A lot of teddy bears around this place. Coast Guard hat in there. Technical documents. So, we require a key for this. Interesting. Alright, well, it doesn't look like being be in here. Unless... Nope, not behind the door. Alright, there's only one other room in here, so hopefully we find it here. Oh. Another dead person. But hey, another note! Awesome! Also, I'll take that. Nothing behind the door. It's probably the password, isn't it? Yep, shelter terminal password. Oh, thank God. We didn't have to, like, search under everything. Beautiful. Mar oh, Mary. Oh, that was the wife, yeah? Oh, God, so she didn't make it. Her final message. This is awful. awful. Walt and some security officers grabbed me from my bad, I assume that should be bad, and threw me out here. The main door is sealed shut, and I can't go back down there, which means I'm stuck here. What little food there was out here was spoiled or something. There's not much running water either. I suppose the bombs may have caused that. I guess this means I'm going to die alone on a toilet while getting my... Well, oh, shitting my guts out. Ugh, oh, God. I would have preferred Walt shooting me to dying without my husband and children. I hope they've figured out the truth about what happened. If I can offer advice to anybody who comes across this note, be warned. Walt is not to be trusted. Use the holotape to open the secret bookcase. There was a, there was a secret bookcase? Door, if you find this note, find out what really happened. If Walt is still alive, then when you find this, kill him and his ugly wife, Mary Wright. I'll do it for you. Also, oh god, what a way to go. That's just awful. I'm so sorry. Oh boy. So wait. Wait. So all the food down here was, well, clearly moldy, but they had the purified water. So yeah, why were all the supplies upstairs? I don't know, but alright. And why a secret bookshelf? Where is this leading us to? Alright, cool. Well, let's find out. And, yep, log in and unlock secret door. <laughs> it's not a very good secret. I mean, granted, I didn't notice it was a secret door, but I didn't look at the bookcase, though. But, alright, cool. Hey, Where are we going? Gun out if we got a Walt to kill. Oh, cool! It's back to the concrete! Yeah, this is weird. <laughs> From concrete to wood, then back to concrete. I, all right, cool. And we're going over there, huh? Oh wow, also a lot bigger over here too. So it was like the first bit of the vault, like a feint to anyone who tries to like break their way in. Ooh, another dead person. All right, let me take that. Is this locked? Ooh, requires key. Okay, okay, okay. Donald's warning. God, a lot of pe dead people in this vault. Walt killed Eugene. Good to know. Thank you. Thank you. All right, yeah, we got to go that way. There's a... Uh, unless there was a key somewhere else. I'm guessing we get the key off Walt, and then that's our reward for finishing up everything. All right, let's roll. Let's roll. Oh, God, yeah, there's more up there, too. Jeez, this place is bigger than I thought. Common area. Commencing oh, attack. God, more protectors. Oh, Jesus, look at them. <laughs> Heck of a vault down here, wow! I really wasn't expecting much from the vault from upstairs, but dang. <laughs> All right, cool. We got a fountain and everything in here. <laughs> Unidentified intruder detected. Right, we got more protections. Let me search. stim it up here real quick. Ah, well that room didn't fare well with the bombings. Okay, what do we got over here? This area a lot more stuff intruder. that didn't make it. All right, so we gotta go there. Yourself. We got multiple doors to check, though. I'm assuming the protection's here. Identified. Yep. Oh, we got a little schoolroom. How many kids were supposed to be in this place? I only know of three so far. All right, what do we got to note over here? Katie's note. I can't believe Dad's gone too. Something isn't right, Keelan. What do you mean? First, Mom disappears one night, then Dad gets killed. This seems suspicious. Yeah, Dad was talking about how he doesn't trust Mr. Whitman yesterday. You're right. We have to keep Lori and Gale safe. Make sure that fucker doesn't try anything stupid. All right, so they were passing the note back and forth between each other in class, I would assume, there. 
Alright, I'm liking all the story in this. You guys know me, I'm a sucker for story, so I'm, I'm really liking this so far. The actual vault seems a bit, or well, bunker I guess, or shelter, whatever you want to put it. Seems a bit weird, but I'm liking the story. We need the key. Ooh, requires key. Admin area key. Alright, what do we got over here? No way to pick key. this. Oh man, we need a lot of keys, jeez. Alright, residential area. God, this actually might take more than one episode. Huh. Seems to be a lot in this place. Hi! Yeah, let's destroy you. Hold it right there. Never! I will never hold it for you or anyone else in this game. Uh, ooh, we got another Lee note. Oh, wait. All right. Let's kill things and before we I start reading. Yourself and Hello. And he's down. Oh, man, there's a lot of them in here. Fear. All right, and let's destroy him. Hostiles. Looks like the others might Please. be in the... Oh, Clear nope, the that one's not in the side room. All right, we got one more in there. Will not be I don't care if it's tolerated, I'm using it. All right, so we got another note and a key. Cool, all right, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. We had... That's all blocked up. Man, this place is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Another room, another note. Yeah, we'll read the non-main ones first. So, also... I'm set! For once in my entire life, I'm truly set. The nuclear apocalypse was the best thing that could have ever possibly happened to me. Down here, I don't have to worry about that dumbass Mr. Er, Abrams and his dumb fucking coffee. I didn't study for four years to put up with his dumbass and brew some dickhead Folgers all day. The work I do here now is a lot better. I'm talking hands-on work, dealing with security. We have a decent-sized group down here, including a lot of little ones who are going to need some discipline. Even though the world has ended, my life is just getting started. Jay Browning. Well, it didn't last long for you, considering everyone's dead down here, but all right. And all right, we got a note on the bar over there I saw. Pre-war money and the rest. Oh, God, another note. <gasps> free at last. Let's read the one that's glitched first before I accidentally lose it somehow. Finally, I'm free from my marriage. Wow, people. Oh, Michael Jack. Oh, the coward. <laughs> Jesus, he wanted her to die. All right, great. <laughs> Finally, I'm free from my marriage. When the call came that it was time to enter the shelter, I left my wife in the shower without a second thought. She's been breaking my balls forever. Everything went according to plan. I never have to worry about her again. I even get my very own bed. A bed where I can sleep without Janet talking and taking all the covers. My golden years are going to be very special. Especially without someone leeching off of me. <laughs> Jesus, man. Wow. Free at last. Wait, is this the same? Oh, it was the same note. Just one of them was there and one was glitched in the table. Cool. All right. I'm going to look here, though, if there's another glitched note. No, it doesn't look it. All right, we're back over here to this room. And we had... Where was that? Yep, right here. Right here. Lovely. And then through there. So we had the one note. Add to my bobby pin collection. Something's not right. This isn't right. Before I went away, I gave Walt my money to hold on to and keep safe before I passed away. After which he could do whatever he wants with it. And what does he do? He spends it all on a fallout shelter. I'm not complaining, as this is better than burning in atomic fire. I didn't think that I would leave that prison alive either. But sure enough, here I am. My son is a madman. In a short time, he's already asserted himself as a dictator and god over the shelter. He's trying to control information and sus suppress speech against him. I've already quietly spoken to him about the issues, and he's laughed, lashed out against me violently. This is not going to end well. I need to take my money back from him. Wait, didn't he use it to make this whole place? What money does he still have left and what use would it be here? Eugene Whitman. Oh, Eugene! Oh, which Walt killed Eugene, according to that one note that we found a while ago. Alright, what do we got in here? Okay, no, oh wait, I was about to say no note, but there we go, sustainability! Now that we've been down here for a few weeks and have gotten settled, huge issues are starting to become obvious to me. This shelter has clear sustainability problems. 
There is no way for anybody to farm or produce food. Wow, they were, that guy who built this was dumb. There is no way for anyone to farm or produce food. We have, we have several reactors and generators for power, which is more than enough to last us several lifetimes. However, there is a finite amount of food and water inside the shelter. And it, it going. <laughs> and it's going to run out someday. I'm not sure if Walt put enough thought into this shelter before building it. I've spoken to him privately about this, and he deflected my comment. This is something that needs to be dealt with. I don't want Chelsea growing up in a fallout shelter that has no food. Well, if it has no food, she won't be growing up in it. William Stockings. Yeah, really? You build a fallout shelter with years worth of power, but not food? What's wrong with you? Oh. Work on the bobby pin. Come on. Oh, wow. I really didn't have to move that Got much, it. did I? Cool. All right. So we're just over this way. Excellent. All right. We got... Let's grab the key first. Reactor key and life without him. All of this is a horrible nightmare come true. Wesley was somehow locked outside of the shelter before the doors closed. He wasn't able to enter, and now he's stuck out there. Apparently, he wasn't the only one who got locked out. Janet Jackman was also locked out of the shelter. I have to stay strong for my children. Life just got a lot more complicated with the world ending, and it just got worse with Wesley not being here. I hope my work in the reactor can keep me occupied from down here. Sarah Greer. Aw, oh, poor Sarah. All right, to the reactor. Let's roll. Let's see what we got over there. Probably some more Protectrons that need killing. Also, what happened to that Bobby person? It was Bobby, right? Am I going crazy? I could be going crazy. All right, prepare for protectrons. Ah, radiation. Intruder. Eh. Identify yourself. All right, we got a dead guy. Yourself. Law and oh, something I gotta kill. Will not be harmed. Hi. There we go. You're dead. Oh, we got a couple in here. I would throw grenades, but I'm worried about blowing a node away somewhere. And oh, <gasps> Michael Jack, or Michelle Jackman, Michelle. Yeah, there we are. Go. Oh, poor lady died down here with the reactors. Oh. Uh, another dead one. They're all gone. I can't believe it. My children are gone forever. Not long after we camped up down here, Jay Browning came down with a gun screaming about how the children are dead. William was able to shoot him while he was coming down the stairs. What can we do now? We're stuck down here with no access to food. My children are gone and now we have people trying to kill us too. Sarah Greer. Man, this whole place just really went to hell. Oh, another one. End game. We've all come to an agreement. If all the kids are no longer in the vault, then they're probably not going to survive very long outside. With all the radiation around, that means that even if we just kicked them outside and didn't kill them, they surely won't last long. All three of us have agreed to overload the reactors. This will destroy large parts of the shelter. Ah, that explains all the collapses. And flood it all with a burst of radiation. Everyone down here will die, us included. I see no other option. We're all going to starve to death and down here eventually since they've been guarding the door to the common area. If we're going to all die down here, we're going to take them down with us. While it's an evil child killer who doesn't deserve any mercy. Michelle deserves that. It deserves what's coming too for agreeing to help Walt with this with his plan. I hope whatever happens will be quick for us and very long and painful for them. Crystal stockings. It's also a hell of a name. Admin area key. I'm sorry, Janet. All right, I'm sorry, Janet. Oh God, it was Michael. Jesus, why did I say this? Yeah, I'm, I keep forgetting who's who's uh like wife or husband there. This was the old dude who's now it was now apparently sad about leaving his wife outside. <laughs> yeah, he was a, he was he was a douche. So, all right, I'm sorry, Janet. As my body starts to fall apart from radiation sickness, I feel more and more regret for the actions I've taken, as you should. I cruelly betrayed my wife and left her outside of the shelter to die. It's probably the exact same pain she felt. I'm a horrible person. You are! I only wish she was alive still so I could say sorry to her. I wish I could say sorry for everything I've done. Nothing is going to bring her back now. Everything is falling apart. Everyone left in the shelter is either dead or dying now. 
I just hope those kids on the surface are doing all right. Ah, so those are going to probably be the kids in the next mod that we'll play. Cool, cool. They probably will have survived. Probably, I'm guessing, ghouls then. Especially if Michael here got ghoulified. But all right. I don't know how bad the surface radiation is going to be. Those two older twins. Yep, Tale of Two Twins. I know the mod name, so yep, it's going to be them. They're going to be ghouls. Cool, I like it. Should be able to take care of everyone else. Michael Jackman. Oh man, I'm really liking the story here. Also, I saw another note, but let's check back here. Ooh, we got another room, more reactor. All right, let's go read that other note. Walt's sick plan. Walt has finally lost it. I was teaching the students in class right after the terrible announcement of Donald's death when he entered and told the entire class they were going on a field trip. Jay and Michael were there to stop me from following him and the kids. Ah, uh, Michael, you are awful. Things got a little hectic, and eventually we all started yelling, causing a little ruckus. By now, everyone in the entire shelter was outside of the classroom, wondering what the hell was going on. Eventually, Walt came back down and announced to everyone that he kicked all of the kids out of the shelter. Really? Damn, Walt! God! There was silence for a few seconds. Then everyone started screaming. He told us that the shelter would last us for the rest of our lives now. And that there was enough food for the next 70 years. This guy tried to rationalize kicking kids out of a fallout shelter into a nuclear wasteland by saying it would let us survive down here longer. After that little scuffle, Sarah, Crystal, and I camped up down here to think about our options. This is not going to end well. William Stockings. God, Walt is a monster. I hope he's ghoulified so I can murder him now. Because, dude, really? We also got the key. Yeah, yeah, we got the sign over here to leave. I should probably take some rat away. Yeah, and definitely the twins are going to be who we find then. Probably ghoulified. That would make sense. That's cool, though. I like that. I like that. I wonder if the other children survived. That'll be interesting to see. Really, that way? I did get a key for over here, right? Yeah, admin area. Okay. Why is it telling me to go the other way? What was the quest? We're also almost at 30 minutes, but I think we'll just run this out because I think we're getting close to done. Yeah, just investigate the shelter. I, mean, I guess I should... Well, oh, no, it's still telling me this way, too. I guess maybe I could have gotten here both ways, but... Yeah, I don't know. All right, kill all these! I'm hoping one of these dots is Walt! <laughs> for hostiles. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Damn! Got a lot of equipment in here! I don't really need it, but alright. Oh, oh. All the supplies. That's a hell of a light. Alright, cool. Do not what do we got? Alarmed. Order will be right there. there we go. Got him. Man, by. they had a lot of protectrons. Jesus. I mean, wow. Also, all right, dead person. Oh, note. Those dumbass kids. Oh, jeez. Every day I grow more and more disgusted with all the little kids in the shelter. All they do is cry, take up space, and eat our food. According to Walt, we've already consumed 10% of our total food reserves in just the first year. This is not sustainable. Well, why didn't you make, like, a area where you can grow food, you idiot? This is not sustainable. We are going to starve to death. Walt agrees that we need to do so- Oh my god, this isn't Walt? Ugh. So someone else I need to be angry at? Cool. We need to do something about those kids. The parents might object if we just kick the kids out. We need to be smart about this if we're going to survive. To make things worse, Eugene is uh, growing wary of Walt. He's starting to realize we took advantage of his money while he was in prison. He should have died in there. How does an old man survive a prison sentence like that without being killed by someone or dying from an illness? He's an idiot for becoming a stock trader in the first place and an even bigger one for insider trading. I hope he can keep our way of life as, or we can keep our way of life as long as we can. Jennifer Whitman. Well, I hate her too. Oh my god. Okay, they are all awful. There we go. <laughs> Alright, there was more down there. I need to look for other notes before we move. The end! Alright. Yeah, we'll read. So the world just ended. The sirens came on. Then we were told on the 
radio about nuclear detonations. I gave everyone enough time to make it down here, but we ended up missing two people. Wesley Greet and Janet Jackman. What an awful situation for their families. We have to move forward from here on out. This is our new life now. I will do whatever it takes to maintain this lifestyle for everyone in the shelter. Their lives are in my hands now. Walt Whitman. Alright, terminal. Hello. Nothing on it. Dang. Oh, 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 oh. See another one. Problem solved. Oh, boy. I have to say I'm very impressed with my security team uh, so far. Or, well, the two people that are the whole security team. We were able to grab Mary while she was asleep and kick her out of the shelter. This is the first step to ensuring that this shelter will be habitable for the remainder of our lives here. We have to remove the kids from the shelter at some point, too. There are too many hungry mouths to feed and not enough food stockpiled to feed them. I don't know how, how we'll handle this problem, but it sure as hell won't be in. It won't be easy. It's hard to write this with my dad banging on the door. He confronted me about using his funds while he was in prison to construct this shelter. He should get over it. If it weren't for me, he would be dead right now. But he'll be dead soon. I locked him in the closet with the, with the chest full of money. Oh my god. If he wants his money so damn bad, he can die with it. His issues with me spending his money is of no concern to me. I have to keep these people alive. Nothing is easy. God, I hate him. I hope he's a ghoul so I can shoot him. Alright, and requires key. Only Kill Walt! Opens with a key. Oh, he's coming down! He's still alive! Yes, I get to murder him! Yes! Die! Shelter Master Key. Beautiful. Bottle cap. Not like this. All right, uh, back to miscellaneous. Not like this. And boom. Damn William, Crystal, and Sarah to hell. They chose to be selfish enough to destroy the react. Dude, you kicked out children. And they're the selfish ones? Jesus, they have no idea. Their children are still alive. Well, why did she? Oh my god, I hate this man more. They just couldn't stay here. All of us would have starved if I didn't do something. All kids do is fucking eat, eat, eat. Yeah, you threw them out of the vault. If they, if you didn't think they were going to eventually die, you wouldn't have done that. I mean, dear lord. We have enough food for the adults to live out the rest of their lives comfortably. But not enough for multiple generations of people. The number one rule before entering my shelter was that you are not allowed to reproduce. To avoid this situation, my skin is falling off and I'm starting to turn green. Whatever my fate is, I, it... Is It is sure to be worse than death. I regret opening this vault up to everyone. I should have kept this shelter to the family only. This is what I get for wanting some company in the event of the apocalypse. How was I supposed to know this was going to happen in the first place? All of this was a hobby project gone wrong. A hobby turned into reality. Now I have to live and die with the consequences. Yes, you do, and I've murdered you, and I'm happy about it. And one more for good measure. <laughs> <laughs> the main door of the shelter remains locked. It would be wise to try and find another way out of the fallout shelter. All right, well, before I do, I'm going to check if there were any other notes up here that I missed. So with the fighting, I did kind of run through this bit. And yeah, seriously, why in the hell would you not create an area where you could grow some food when it's the freaking apocalypse? You're just dumb. All right, it's all the supplies. God, yeah, if you... Oh, man, the shelter master key. Ha! Yeah, if you have a survival playthrough, this is like the mother load of supplies for you. Jeez. Cool. You see all supplies, lots of food, water, medical, everything. Dang. Yeah, but really, they were dumb if they didn't think to make anything. Donald report! Well, we had an ugly situation in Walt's quarters last night. The situation is not a pretty one. Donald broke into the admin area and entered Walt's room while he was out. He ended up discovering Eugene's body in the closet. We were all alerted by the screaming and took him. He put up a fight and hurt Michael a little bit, but we were able to throw him through the security fence. The turrets are pre uh, got him pretty good, so we shouldn't have to worry about anything. At the same time, I really wish we had a jail cell to lock up people in instead of having to waste valuable bullets. Oh, God, I hate them all. <laughs> oh, entrance area. Oh, no, 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 no. I have to go back. Oh, we're up here. Oh, cool. 
All right. Radix wore off. Okay, okay. Anything else? We got that. We got lots of good stuff. Yeah, lots of supplies in this place. That's also the entrance area. We got a terminal. <gasps> Resident info terminal. Resident info. All right, so just all their stuff about them. All right. Cool. Okay, we need to check the body again upstairs, because we actually didn't go in there. Actually, turn on the light. Oop. Yeah, God, these people were dumb. <laughs> Just make an area to grow food. That's all you need, and you could have avoided all of this. Oh, poor man. Wow, all the money. <laughs> Too bad money is useless here. Ah, so is that the exit? Maintenance area. Okay, okay. I'm just, I'm just going back and forth now. I'm just going back and forth. I need to see what was the stuff over here. <laughs> Up top. Before we do that, because that's definitely the exit out of here. Alright. And just through here. Because I don't think, yeah, I don't think these went down anywhere. So what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Just more concrete, concrete, concrete. Door. Concro oh, I guess these are like firing positions for anyone trying to break in. Alright, there's that, uh, all this stuff. More supplies. Yeah, this place is loaded, man! Uh, over here, this goes back into there. Okay, alright, now we can leave. Now we can leave. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, nice. Yeah, it's all they had to do. One little addition to their this whole place. In fact, if they would have just brought some, someone would have brought seeds with them, they could have turned that communal area in the middle into like a big garden area. That's all they would have had to do. That's all they would have had to do. They didn't have to build like some other crazy room somewhere. They could have kept, or this, this hanging garden all in here. <laughs> God, Walt was dumb. <laughs> all right, up we go. Going back out just in case there's anything else. I don't think there is. I think this is just the exit out of the place now at this point. Yeah, look at all this room. Hanging planters all over. They could have grown tons of food in a place this size. All right, all right. Security gate. Street, just a trunk. Oh, I guess this is like a place you could use then after the fact. Like a little player home. Because I actually think I uh, hit it on the way in. I didn't show it on the map earlier because I figured we'd come out at it eventually. Oh, yep, yep, yep. I ran into this because I uh, teleported from the Adam Cat's garage and walked down this way and there was this maintenance entrance. So, yeah, I guess that's to have like a little player home for yourself with all your well, the things here. That's pretty nice. That's nice. But, yeah, now I'm really looking forward to the uh, Tale of Two Twins mod. Get to see what happened to those kids after that asshole uh, Whitman threw everyone out. That's awesome! I mean, Whitman's bad, but, you know, I got to shoot him. So, I'm happy about that. But, yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. But, yeah, man, they were... I've said it multiple times here, but, man, they were dumb. Just make stuff to grow food. I mean, what the heck else you... Oh, Keelan Snow... <gasps> Keelan, one of the kids! <gasps> if you're reading this note, then this means we've left. Me and Katie knew something was up when they locked us out here. It's pretty cold outside, but we have jackets. We can't stay here forever because we need to eat. We came across a huge family walking around with guns. I'm talking at least 30 people, most of them with guns, boys and girls, kids and grown-ups. They said they're going down to Washington, D.C. <gasps> and offered to let us join their group. I don't know how this is going to end, but we have to trust them. There's nothing else we can do. I hope we'll be okay. Katie Wright. Oh, that's awesome! Oh, I, that's, I, I look forward to the next mod now. I really want to hear more about their story and how that all goes. But yeah, I mean, you're locked down there for the rest of your lives. What the heck else are you going to do to spend your days? You could spend time gardening up that giant maintenance tunnel. <laughs> But oh well, oh well, what are you going to do? But that's going to be it for today, folks. Hopefully you all have enjoyed and you come back for the next episode where, you know what? Normally I restart from another, uh, from my old save file to uh, do these mods, but I may continue it on from this. Just in case 
there's something that can tie it in. You can be like, oh yeah, by the way, I found your family's shelter or something. So yeah, I'm going to continue on with the next mod from this save file. And we'll see how that goes. But that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed. You do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.